So in this video we will learn about React State Manager by using Gertex controller. So first of all we are going to create a new file right in the view. Right click in here and then this as a controller dot dart now in here we will have a class with the name controller extends with the getx controller and then in here we will have a variable name as count value will be 0 and we will make that observable I mean reactive so right in here OBS as you guys know so after this we will create a increment function right down here so right wide name is as increment which will increment the count so right in here count the increment and then after it we will create another function for a decrement right in here so right void decrement we will simply decrement the count as you guys can see so now we will go back to the main dot dot now we will work right in the get material app as usual so right in here title and title will be reactive state manager by using getx controller after this in home we will have a scaffold widget in scaffold widget there will be a bar in a bar we will have a title and in title we will have a text and in text we will simply write the text just copy and paste it here after this in body we will have a center widget and in center widget there is a child and there will be a column widget set the property right in the column widget main axis alignment set it to center after this close axis alignment set it to center after this there will be children there will be a get x the controller after this now in here there will be init so it will initialize the controller that we created there we go after this in builder there will be a instance for the controller it will be right in here so right controller so basically that controller is the instance of that controller class so after this in here we will simply return the text and in text we will say the value is now we will use the count variable in here so right in here first there will be an instant of controller dot count there we go after this we will do some styling right in here textile set the font size 
set it to 20.0 and after it there will be phone to it we will set this to bold there will be semicolon there we go after this get x create a size box give the height to 10.0 after this we will have an elevated button scroll it down in child we will have a text and text we will say increment button now we will create another elevated button right after this for a decrement so right in here elevated button and in child there will be text and in text we will say decrement button there we go let's create a size box so just copy this and paste it down here after this elevated button so there will be a height between them now we will work right in the on press in here we will simply get dot find our controller so right in here find and in here we will find the controller class so right in here controller and after this you will simply increment it so there we go just simply copy this line of code and paste it down right in this on press and we will set this to the decrement there we go So now we will test the application. Simply come here and click on this play button. So this will take some time. Just wait for a while. So there we go the initial value is zero if I now pressed on this increment button this will increment the value and now if I press down here on this decrement button it will decrement the value as you guys can see it's working fine with the increment and decrement let me close this and now let's suppose we don't want to use that in it in here so in that case we will create an instance so simply come in this in it right in here we will create an instance so right in here controllers with the with instance of it so right in here you will equals to get that my controller so write dot put and in here we will see controller close it with semicolon so we created the instance now we will go down instead of this line of code you will come in this and we will use in here controller instance dot increment so this will increment the value now we will come in this line of code and instead of this we will use right in here right controller the instance dot decrement this will decrement the value simply just click on display button there we go and it should work right here so let's go with the increment button 
there we go it's working fine now let's see the decrement button it's working fine so these were the two ways to work with the getx controller so that's it for this video and we will look further in the next video